First alert weather. Hey, good morning. Jeff Roper in here up and Adam bright tailed and bushy eyed and wet. Yes, we've got some showers around high pressure over the four corners. They've got fire watches and warnings. We've got rain showers and even snow showers into our neck of the woods here with this trough in an area of low pressure that is circulating counterclockwise. It just keeps pumping in the moisture. The cloud cover is here. The winds will be, be here and it's going to be rainy the next couple of days. So we're going to start with rain in the morning, some snow showers into the mountains. In fact, we even have a, a winter weather advisory for the area shaded in purple there just under the low and that will happen in the morning hours when it is cooler. Overnight lows will be in the 30s and 40s. It's going to be a rainy afternoon and even stormy in some spots as we get some more energy into the atmosphere. So rain in the morning, thunderstorms in the afternoon. Here's the current radar look and you can see yeah, Rexburg right now, Island Park, Driggs. Jackson has seen some showers this morning, Soda Springs, and uh, we're keeping things out of the plain. It's for the most part, we've got even some snow showers and sprinkles into parts of the central Idaho mountains there where that winter weather advisory is in effect and to the north of them, they've got even more moisture. So it's all continuing to rotate around that low, which will ease off to the east and provide some some clearing by about Wednesday, but we're kind of socked in right now with some cold air and moisture. I'm just glad we got through Saturday. Yesterday was eh, could have been better looking day, but it's even colder today. 45. You probably want to shut the windows. You probably may even click the heat before it's over with. Southwesterly breezes at about 11. It feels like it's 35, 36 degrees with the wind chill in some spots. 37 in West Yellowstone, 41 in Jackson this morning. It's 33 in Mackey, 41 in Chalice, 45 degrees in Salmon and breezes 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting past that as we get into the afternoon and even gustier around thunderstorms. So cold rain, afternoon thunderstorms, but then we're going to be warming up for the 4th of July. That's the good news. So just stay positive. Here's that low. I positioned it right over the mountains and we've got snow showers in and around Jackson and Driggs this morning by about 7 o'clock. So a chilly, rainy, even snowy day for 6,500 plus feet and showers and storms continue to rotate around the low. I'll take you into the mid morning hours and it seems like we get a bit of a break here in the in, you know, mid morning, but still rainy into the afternoon. It's still some snow there in to Stanley and down below Mackey and then the thunderstorms begin to pop after three o'clock this afternoon. Watch as they roll up in here and we'll take them into the nighttime hours and then we get a little bit of a break overnight with colder air and more snow showers popping up and then we get to tomorrow morning and we start with some snow and some rain and then we break into the thunderstorms into the afternoon and we'll continue that trend into the early evening. When things do start to clear out, the breezes begin to pick up. We'll get some uh, We'll get, we'll get uncovered. How's that? We'll go, we'll go naked for the sun to get to us and it will be warming up on into Wednesday. So here's your Viper cast for the winds gusty at times this afternoon, easing up tonight and then tomorrow still breezy and cold around 19 miles an hour for a wind cast there into the afternoon and Wednesday. We're going to need those winds to clear everything out and warm us on up. So we'll be in the fifties this afternoon in the southeastern highlands and Afton 50, 58 in Preston. We go to the upper highlands where we 49 degrees this afternoon. That's it. That's all you get. 49 degrees. The low tonight, 37. Mid 50s for the Tri Cities of Dubois, St. Anthony, and Rexburg. Into the central Idaho mountains with a winter weather advisory for Limhigh County. All right, 58 in Salmon, 58 Chalice, mid 50s for Mackey and Arco, and we get into the Snake River Plain. We'll be in the mid 70s to upper, I'm sorry, mid 50s to upper 50s, around 57 degrees in Aberdeen, and then 58 in Pocatello. Check out the eight day. Here it is 60% chance of storms today in IF, 80% chance tomorrow. Then we're going to clear out Wednesday, get you back into the 70s, and for 4th of July festivities and the weekend, we're back into the 80s, which is good which is more normal, right? Because it's summer. 80% chance of storms today, tomorrow, Pocatello in the upper 50s to lower 60s, but you're back to 80 by Thursday and mid 80s for Friday and Saturday, and we'll approach 90 by the end of the weekend. Blackfoot, you've got showers sucking you in today with thunderstorms in the afternoon. It'll be 72 though for Wednesday. We'll clear out and we'll head towards 77 Thursday, and then we're in the low 80s for Friday and Saturday. Rexburg, 55 today, 57 tomorrow with even more rain chances, and back to the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, back to the 80s for Friday and Saturday and the 4th of July as things begin to get back to normal. Salmon, it's going to rain. 
59 to 62, but let us be your liquid sunshine, all right? 71 to 77 for Wednesday and Thursday, 40% chance of storms Friday, and it'll be nice on Saturday and around 84 degrees with a slight chance of storms. Jackson, 52, and storms all the way through Wednesday, and we'll take you down to 30% for Thursday and 75 degrees. We'll be in the upper 70s for Friday and Saturday, so we think it'll be pretty nice. We want to know how smart your dog is. Call us on the Hollaback line at 534-9957. 534-9957. You can also hit me up, jeff.roper at localnews8.com. We love hearing your stories and seeing your videos, too. Please send them to me, and so that way we can brag on your furry friend who needs a hug today. Here's Adrian with Sports.